have a very special guest. Someone I was here with on, on Wednesday. And I was just scoping out the area to see if I could plug in. And of course, it's got to be battery powered. Because there's no plugs. And while I was here, there was a veteran with wire cutters. And he was cutting the, he was cutting the wires. He was moving the back end. The park police were putting the back. He was coming back, cutting the wires. <laughs> Unite in Action has been in a battle with the IRS for 1,220 days now, waiting for approval for our tax status. Oh, what a lot of prayer. Last week I saw, last week I saw on the news, like many of you did, veterans being blocked at these memorials, and I got pretty picked off about it. When I saw the police hurting the veterans out of the Vietnam Memorial, that was the last straw for me. That's great! So on Sunday, I started signing up people on Facebook to come down here and help me remove these barricades from these walls. On Wednesday, one woman showed up to help me, and everybody else stayed home because they were afraid! Why are the people of this country afraid of this government? We're not afraid. We're not afraid, man. We're not afraid, man. Anyway. We are! We're not here afraid of government. Hell no! So I spent the day Wednesday walking around, cutting these barricades open, moving them aside, and letting some veterans in. And I gotta tell you, I was crying like a baby most of the day. God love you. Yeah. Came back on Thursday and did it and get in the rain. And I had about a half a dozen people come and help me. There was a veteran here, a World War II veteran. He was dying. He was in a wheelchair. His family brought him here from Missouri because he probably wasn't going to make it until this was over. Christian. And those guys down there at the end of the mall didn't want to let him go in. Christian. I walked with him. Come on back out. Every one of these memorials. I got to get this way. I appreciate every single one of you veterans. Because of you, I can stand up and make noise in the halls of Congress, which is what I do every day and every chance that I get. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 